today's uh, diabetic meal plan my son is going to actually write it on this board on this uh, whiteboard so here you go guys uh, the afternoon meal plan on the whiteboard so basically what I'm planning to uh, make for my afternoon lunch is going uh, is oranges for the fr fruit portion salad with uh, mixed spring mix um, some cucumbers mango puree plus yogurt you know it's going to be like a dressing uh, I'm sure the mango sweetness from the mango is going to make the salad really tastier and there is of course there's no extra added sugar because it's a diabetic diet and also uh, the nuts you can add or nuts to your salad it's optional today I may or I may not so let's see how it goes and rice is any kind of rice you can use and uh, I'm also going to make uh, some sprouted black-eyed beans curry and you can follow any uh, pretty much any Indian recipe for that or I can I'll probably be telling you uh, you know what all goes into, into the sprouted black-eyed beans curry I make uh, the beans any kind of beans you know I just follow one recipe for that and I make it the same way so whenever it becomes very easy for me to follow uh, a recipe and uh, that's that's about it so let's see I'm just going to show you the raw ingredients uh, for this uh, diet plan for this meal plan for diabetes diabetics uh, the reason for me for making uh, a channel for the diabetics is coming from India you know uh, we all uh, get diabetes very soon in life we are very young and you know it comes as a shocker and you know we are, it gives us a really surprise of our lifestyle life and and it becomes chaotic so but instead of becoming chaotic you know I thought we can make this work you know it's it's a it's really not a bad thing but getting diabetes actually makes you a little bit more healthier I would say because you are going to follow a strict diet regime and of course uh, I I do my husband doesn't do that much so <laughs> I'm, I'm I feel sorry for him because you know although I do a lot of um, strict uh, diet regime sometimes he falls into the cravings of uh, you know sweets and uh, other savories but anyways I'm hoping that he's gonna change all right so now let's look at the ingredients so here you go this is basically the spring mix here you can see that I got this from a local farm salad mix it's got all these greens and stuff so it's just really cool I love the greens it's a little bit bitter but it's really uh, with all that sweetness mango sweetness that goes into it makes it nice and um, tasty so there's going to be a cucumber that goes in this is from yesterday I used it for salad yesterday a little bit my son is trying to help me here and he is that's his hand and there's a mango for the mango puree and then there's this yogurt which I'm gonna probably I can beat them up together to make a <coughs> mango and yogurt dressing kind of thing and also for my bean curry this is the black eyed beans curry that I'm using so Abhira if you get me that colander you can show that we soaked our uh, black eyed beans overnight and then uh, also we just drained the water and uh, we let it sprout basically this time it is not sprouted very well but I think it's okay it's not bad they say instead of using uh, just the soaked beans it's always advis advisable that you nicely sprout your beans as well which uh, which is more healthier that's what I believe and uh, most of the times I try to soak I, I mean I try to sprout my beans like this as you can see right it's more healthier and uh, you can also see that I have cut my oranges here I may cut a few more we are a family of four people uh, I am pre-diabetic too as I said it's kind of 
uh, shocking but i think we can be positive and uh, uh, you know go with a pinch of salt and of course i think we can bring down bring it to control so we i might be cutting few more oranges like this and that's uh, we'll see how it goes so hi guys uh, again uh, the rice that i'm going to be using for today is going to be the pony boiled rice you can use any kind of rice it doesn't matter as long as you're taking a cup of uh, rice after boiling the rice if you take a cup of rice it's it's okay they say so um you can use any kind of rice then let's take a look at the ingredients uh, that is going into the uh black eyed bean curry so coconut tomatoes half onion only this one uh this one is a uh, spare i'm not putting that and tamarind and of course turmeric this turmeric is uh, in a capsule form um which we had bought and we never used it and so i'm using it in my cooking and some cumin seeds maybe half a teaspoon of cumin seeds and uh, chili powder this is for cooking two usually one and a half to two and dhania powder one spoon so all this goes and um, will grind into a paste my mixi i want to talk to you about uh, talk to you guys about my mixi it's ultra mixi and it's very very nice very powerful and uh it comes with three jars and it's very, i i like it a lot so and i'm going to be grinding in this mixi so let's go ahead and see um here i have made this preparation right here four ingredients into that i'm going to add my chili powder dhania cumin i'm just going to eyeball my cumin There you go. And salt, of course, you can add later. And this will be grinded into a paste now. So, um, and then let me show you. Right now, my bean is. Uh, I have kept my cooker ready for cooking the bean. And one cup rice, of course. I'm going to be washing this, and I will be adding about. Two and a half cups of uh, water for this uh, pony boiled rice. Okay. So here you go. The salad is ready now. As I said, uh, it's the spring uh, greens mix, sort of leaves and everything, and um, cucumber, and a handful of uh, pista. Pista has gone into it. and now i have to make the dressing which i already said it's going to be a mango and yogurt uh, dressing so let's put some you know about two or three spoons of yogurt into that if you are non diabetic of course you can add some honey i used to have add honey into my dressing before but now i cannot and of course that's there that my salad is getting ready and and if you see this one our mixi uh, you know paste is ready the masala is ready for the sprouted uh, black eyed bean curry so i'm just going to put a basic tadka into this because i don't have curry leaves today so it's going to be just the mustard seeds and maybe if you come cumin seeds and dora dal you can add green chilies if you want it's optional okay and i'm going to go and uh, grind this uh, dressing now so my meal planning my my recipe usually i follow like if something comes to my head i usually add it uh, i thought you know the mango and the yogurt uh, i thought wouldn't be very tasty so i'm just adding a little bit of cashews into it you can see uh, i just put it into hot water and i'm just going to add it into that and i'm going to give it a grind now make it a little bit more tasty and cashews or uh, gives you a little bit of fat which is fine for diabetics now you can see that the dressing is all grinded up together and i'm just going to pour it over onto the salad and of course 
I'm just going to scrape everything inside and I'm going to pour it all inside of that. And I'm going to give it a stir and my salad will be ready. So I give it a stir and the salad is ready as you can see. It's all nicely, uh, all the leaves and cucumbers, this tie is all covered into in that uh, dressing. So, so it's really up to you whether how you're going to serve. You can serve it separately or you can serve it all together in a plate, on a plate. So my logic for a diabetician is basically your top portion, you know, you take a circled plate. The top portion is uh, vegetables. You can fill that in the from with the salad. And then there's the protein section at the bottom. So the so for example, you have your plate. The top portion should be your, your vegetables. And then the bottom portion can be made into half. One will be your carbs and the other one will be proteins. Today my carbs is rice and my proteins is that black eyed bean, the sprouted black eyed bean curry. So whatever is there in that. So that's the deal and you know, and of course you have, um, as I said, I have cut oranges too for my um, fruit portion. Today I'm just going to have to bowl it like this, no? Um, so that, you know, because my kids were hungry, I thought I'll give it off to them. So I put them in a bowl and they're going to start off with the salad. This is my um, cooked uh, bean. And here you can see that the tarka I have added um, mustard seeds and um, red chilies and urata and cinnamon seeds. I'm going to add the masala into it. So there you go. <clears throat> now I added all the salt and everything into it. It's uh, coming to a boil slowly. So and of course if you want you can add some chopped coriander. Uh, today I don't have the chopped coriander leaves. I have to run to the grocery shop. Maybe right after this. And of course you know if you put some coriander leaves it's going to be really tasty too. And it'll look good too. Bring it to a boil for about 5 to 7 minutes and switch off the stuff. Okay guys, now that everything is ready, I'm just going to show you how to plate it. So here is your curry is ready and I'm going to have to, and my salad is here. So let me just grab, here's my tongue and I'm just going to have to, so before that, okay, this is my plate. So as I said, I have divided the plate into half. The top portion is always your vegetables. And here you have to divide it like this. And then this portion is your proteins and your carbs. So let's just go ahead. Of course, today the salad um, was eaten by everybody. And uh, this is my portion. I usually have a little bit more. But today, just uh, eat a little bit earlier so you can have more fill this portion um, and then that's how much you're gonna have your salad and uh, I realized that uh, the mango you can reduce the mango amount and maybe squeeze a lime into that uh, dressing to make it a little bit sour and of course put some pepper on top my kids were like it's a little too sweet so so if you do these two things put lime and some pepper for dressing i think it'll be good so here you go and then now i'm going to place my rice and uh, my beans so there you go uh, it's looking all ready and uh, you know so you can pour some more onto the rice if you want right like that so that's your meal lunch so I hope you like it thank you